welcome to Unmuted. We got your gaming and esports hot topics, hot tweets, and sports and memes. I am Brody Moore. And I'm Ronald Lee. And we're going to present to you all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and more likely argue about. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, there's this mute button right here, which we can only use once when we want to shut each other up. Yes, I want to use it again today. That was fun. Yes. Shout out to chat. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. Let's dive into it. Our first story involves Dr. Disrespect and his foray into IRL streaming. Unfortunately, mistakes were made. The doc began streaming from E3, and while the majority of the broadcast saw him posing for pictures and making snide remarks, it did take a turn for the worst. The two-time entered multiple public bathrooms that were currently in use, and his cameraman got uncomfortably close to some male convention goers at the urinals. Shortly after his stream, Dr. Disrespect's channel was banned. It is unknown how long this ban will go for. Now, Ron, I think we can agree that you don't bring cameras into the bathroom, yeah, right? we can agree on this for okay, sure. Okay, if that one. So why don't we ask a question about IRL streaming in general? Do you think IRL streaming is becoming a little bit too much? Like, you're you're always filming all the time. I get it that there's cameras everywhere, right. but now it's a little more. You're being broadcast intentionally to yeah. a group of people, and I feel like it's starting to get a little too much with this IRL streaming. My gripe with the IRL streaming thing isn't so much with like the genre itself. I think mm -hmm. it's totally fine for there to be IRL streamers and for it to kind of grow in popularity. Um, it, it borders on the line of like voyeurism in like an odd way that is a different topic. Mm -hmm. But my big issue here was like as a professional streamer with a big of a, an audience as Dr. Disrespect should totally be aware of this. And, yeah. and that leads me into my conspiracy theory here, okay. which is that you know, he is way smarter than this, and he has like a bunch of numbers. He obviously knows what he's doing. I think he did it on purpose to kind of, you know, like, th this is my first time IRL streaming. It's a big mistake. It would blow up, right? Yeah, but you, what you get if all he's those indefinitely? That just backfires. That's huge. okay. He could take. He he knows how rabid his fans are and how much money he brings into Twitch. So he's like, I need a holiday. I can take two, three weeks <laughs> off. Right, you know, spend some time with the wife. <laughs> Lord knows she deserves it. And uh, you know, then I come back. My fans will be like. Hashtag free Dr. Disrespect. I get brought in. I have this massive resurgence for that week and they get even bigger numbers. Now, Ron, what yes. happens when t t Twitch decides, <laughs> this, again, right, decides that you don't actually get your channel back? And now uh, you have no revenue. You, you play that chicken game with Twitch. You're like, you know what? I'm one of the top three biggest streamers on the platform That's or true. something, they do, right? And, oh, that is tough. Yeah, because they yeah. almost. Oh, but you, gotta yeah, keep, you, want, you want Ninja? That's ballsy. If Ninja left? They'd be they'd be like heartbroken if Doctor Disrespect left. They did definitely have a similar kind of response. So he, you know that's that's where I'm kind of putting my cards here. I'm willing to wager even that he's calculating and intelligent enough to make that sort of play. That is that is very ballsy. <laughs> Much like the, like the bathroom streaming was. Oh, also yikes. credits to the director who said that brings a whole new uh, <sighs> meaning to streaming. <laughs> it was a really good one. I enjoyed it. And All right, uh, yeah. onwards. Here we go. Switching gears from that, I have a weird one for you. Razer is actually getting into the beverage game. The company is launching a mental performance drink called Respawn. And the drink comes as a powder that you mix in with your water. Now, Razer says it isn't an energy drink, despite the fact that it packs 95 milligrams of caffeine, which is about the same amount as a cup of coffee. Uh -huh. So, Brody, you know, we've seen gaming shoes, we gaming glasses, and gaming deodorant. Yep. How do you feel about all these gaming products? <laughs> well, so for me, it doesn't surprise me. Like, Ra Razer does not surprise me, because Razer has been do you see that they're trying to do the toaster now? I Razor's did see that. I an see RGB that. toaster, and I'm not gonna lie, it's kind I of want it. It's kind of balling. Like <laughs> it's like the. It's almost like I want it. Ironically, but at the same time, it does look yes. pretty sick. I fall into that all the time, where I'm like, I'll, you know, this is kind of dumb. I'm, I'm gonna play to it ironically, <laughs> and then at some point, I've lost the line. I've like treaded too deep into the oh water. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I think Razer knows this though. I think Razer is very self-aware sure. at how ridiculous the whole R literally everything they have is RGB. Yo, you, your RAM's yeah. RGB, your mouse is RGB, your mouse pad is how RGB. Can you now. resist? They you have know? RGB gaming chairs now. Like gaming chairs in themselves are a meme. I need to get one of those. And now they're RGB gaming chairs like the RGB has gone to the next level and I feel like they're I wouldn't be surprised if these cans even came with RGB you so can buy the upgraded <laughs> version <laughs> oh like oh you know what Here, here's my thing right you're talking about upgrades right they're yeah, supposed yeah, to yeah. level you up in the game they're supposed to you know be uh, performance enhancing mm -hmm. so conspiracy theory number two this okay. is just this We're entire show is me spitting, all right, all right. right. 
performance enhancing. They're like, you know, the ca it has a lot of caffeine. We're not going to call it an energy drink because that's not the selling point. Okay. The selling point is it actually has Adderall in it's it. It's filled with Adderall. Yeah. And so it's it's actually like you drinking it and you, they don't they don't specify. And now every CSGO you, team is sponsored by Razer. Yes, they hit every single shot. And they're like, oh, dude, it's it's literally after I had this drink, I don't know what came over me, but I was so <laughs> focused. I feel like this one could be disproved fairly easily by taking a sample and testing it. Um, that would be a very risky move, but I, uh, I'm not surprised. Ultimately, at the end of the day, for uh, for Razor to be doing this, it energy paid off drink the thing. people that do the research, you know, like just like the sugar they companies and sell. all that. Anyway, okay, so, so here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna grab one, I'll test it, and I'll report you the results. How about you bring, you get two and bring me one as well and we can test together. Oh, you know what, my, my rank is really high, so it wouldn't make a difference, but for you, we'd see obviously oh, wow. major improvements. Okay, the unnecessary <laughs> shots. Next up, shots also fired from TSM to Optic. Team Solomon CEO Andy Din said Optic is a dead brand in response to a tweet from Mike Diesel Carr. Carr tweeted a laughing gif in an attempt to mock Reginald over an altercation at a party. Reggie deleted his original tweet and then attempted to explain, however, Diesel ended the back and forth with, pray we don't get our stuff back so you can keep melting off and flexing you shoulda, woulda, coulda. Ooh, Ron. Okay, so it seems like we've seen a lot of back and forth between orgs before. It seems to be mm -hmm. a thing that happens. Maybe, you know, Reggie was trying to do that and it, it didn't work out because Mr. Diesel Mark. was actually trying to get personal here. I don't know, but... I, you think Optic's a dead brand? I mean, they didn't get bought by Immortals. <laughs> We're gonna go there first. Right? <laughs> go the first. Uh, I think Optic has a couple of games where it has good titles. You know, we know Call of Duty. Optic is huge present there. Okay, uh, so dead brand. Uh, ooh, damn. I like Call of Duty. That was a right? double shot right. fired. <laughs> okay, so uh, shots fired. I see what you did there. It's a, it's a shooter. Wow. Anyways, okay. But <laughs> Optic, that. you know, again, that merger, uh, that's big news. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's uh, not a dead brand, but it, it is in, on life support, <laughs> <laughs> right? They, they need a little bit of resurgence, a little plug. bit of a kick. But it's not dead. You know, they could bring it back, right? Okay. It's yeah, been going downhill, but it could go back it is, up. It is tough because they, they do have a huge fan base behind them. Like, you know, the Green Wall, like the Optic is one of the most uh, known Orgs out there, yeah. but it is definitely being taken over by some of your like your NRGs and Cloud Nines Cloud and stuff, right? Sure, yeah. Exactly, uh, EGs, the ones that are mm -hmm. holding themselves to a really high regard. Whereas Optic is one of those original like phase clans, I think, where yeah. there were there were just a bunch of dudes that played the games. Is like they're here now with like a certain audience with like high schoolers or whatever. Phase yeah. is like like really pushed up and elevated. Yeah, and Green World's kind of just been. They're, yeah, they haven't done yet, and maybe they're thinking the Immortals buy would help them get there. Would help on the um, professional side, but it's not going to change if you're just being rebranded into Immortals. Um, yeah, yeah, it was weird. It was like it was it was this whole a bunch of these orgs just came from bros playing Call of Duty and Halo. They're like, <laughs> well, we can maybe make money off this, and yeah. now they're millionaires. So uh, I don't know. I think the inevitability is that Optic had to do something. So the selling to Immortals, I don't know if it's dead brand, but maybe maybe eventually. Do you it might think Andy right. had a point? You think you know like yeah. he yeah. Do you think the CEO of a, of a brand like TSM should be going on social media and throwing? Yes, it? we see it all the time. Absolutely. But like, there's playful, and then there's like mean spirited. I think Reggie was fine. I all think right. Diesel didn't know how to do it. Okay, well we'll we'll agree to disagree. Let's move on okay. onto our last story, which involves Ticketmaster actually renewing its partnership with NBA's Golden State Warriors. Go Raps. Uh, you know, but as a part of the deal, Ticketmaster has extended the partnership to include the Golden Guardians and NBA 2K League's Warriors Gaming. The partnership makes Ticketmaster the first brand to cover all of GSW sport ventures. Mm. So, Brody, here's a, here's a cool thing. Yeah. Do you think deals like this really highlight how the mainstream is slowly kind of pushing its like little grubby little fingers into esports now? I, um, I suppose. I mean, like, I suppose. Tic Ticketmaster doesn't really like surprise me because they got their grubby fingers everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. Oh they my own everything. god. I mean, like, I mean, look, uh, the Rocket League tickets are being sold on Ticketmaster I didn't know too. That. Yeah, and it's not like an exclusive partnership thing. It's just that's the platform I think they decided to go with. Go with yeah. But uh, no, Ticketmaster is the biggest definitely, name. Yeah, they're yeah. getting in there. Um, but uh, I, it's unfortunate because like Ticketmaster is not fun to use. No. Um, and, Very pricey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless you work out a deal with them that these are the ticket prices mm -hmm. at face value. Nothing more, Ticketmaster, mm -hmm. please. Uh, but yeah, no, you're gonna see. It with e other companies that you don't even expect, like Ticketmaster. Okay, that makes sense. But you're gonna see a lot of other companies starting to, you know, get in. The mainstream companies being like, oh, I want to test this out. We've seen it for the past few years too, where yeah. or uh, like companies are like kind of half jumping into esports. Right. Um, and I feel like a lot they're, of they're definitely wary. 
because yeah. like even like things like uh, we see a lot of brand deals and stuff in, in official franchise leagues because we know they're squeaky clean, especially yeah. Blizzard and Overwatch, really clean, maybe a little too clean. Yeah, right? way too clean. Way too clean. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, but like it makes sense. They should be weird because like, even the saying a little, going a little back with Doctor Disrespect, mm-hmm. you know, walking into public male bathrooms over urinals with little children around, it's it can be dangerous for them to associate yeah. with streamers. So it makes sense to go with. You know, NBA 2K. We With know they're hesitation. attached to. Oh, that's true. Yeah. NBA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. At the same time, I don't. I don't know if you don't. If you don't go all in, though, are you? Are you really getting into it? Like, I feel like the internet's really good at calling out people that are kind of like disingenuous, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, and we've, we've seen it. bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I, I feel like. If you're not going all in, you're. It's and I think that's why people have a bit of an, an upset with some of the, like the, the NBA 2K league and stuff, just because it's like, well, it's just an extension of the sports thing. I feel, I feel actually... like that. I reson- that resonates with me a lot. I can definitely <laughs> smell something's up because it's it's almost oh, like. I'm sorry, that's just me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like it's like you have your traditional sports and then yeah. you have the NBA 2K, and it's it's clear to me at least that you want those people in games to watch yeah. regular basketball. Well, chat, let us know. They have to go all in or can they half it? I don't know. Let's move on. It's time to check in with streamers and clip it. First up, we have a clip from XQC and his awesome hops in Jump King. No! You f- Back at it again. Again. Top jump. Max jump. Side hop. Mini side hold hop. Max hop. Bottom right hop. Upper main hop. Right hop. Ma- almost max up. Welcome to the limit. Max up. Take it, maybe. I was still playing, so we better win. Triple seven, triple seven, triple seven, triple seven, double seven, double seven. Triple seven, triple seven, triple seven, triple seven, double seven. Triple seven, triple seven, triple seven. I was about to commend him because like he just you know it seemed like he was gonna just keep going he, he got to the silent moment right so you know he's angry but, been there. but then he literally hit rock bottom and it Quite fell literally. apart and then, and then he did the rage quit I haven't I have not alt f4 a game in a very long time actually really it's actually you been bragging? a while yeah you I'm like, proud I'm of that I'm proud that I'm not that angry anymore Anymore. Yeah. So there's a Brody Moore we don't know about. Yeah. Well, I can still be pretty toxic. Oh, really? So, yeah. Oh. Uh, should I report you? Try to play, ro- play Rocket League with me. You'll see the toxicity. You, okay. So when I look at you, you seem like a person that's generally, you know, pretty nice and like easy to talk to, like on this desk. Looks can be deceiving. But, but yeah, then I hear stories rumbling around the studio. What stories? I don't know. I'm an ask your coworkers. They're like, Hello? Brody seemed angry today. Or like, there's just something behind those eyes. He's like Tom Cruise. There's just something. <laughs> there's some, Murder. There's some, we're talking about be, people being disingenuous. And sometimes I just feel like I, I'm on your head you know it's like <laughs> you're thinking something else yeah the, the anger behind my eyes was when they told me i had to work with you <laughs> oh okay. more shots all right moving on <laughs> okay so next up we have some more jump king for you this time from moon moon who is about to beat the game after six hours Why are people playing this? This is like the sense we, of accomplishment. Did we not learn from getting over it that you don't play? That's not a sense of accomplishment. It is. No. It, it, have you have you played co-op? I, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever made it like really really far and actually got the mechanics down that it becomes muscle memory and you feel yeah. like you've, you've and, accomplished how to walk? Yeah. And then you realize you have to jump at the end. <laughs> I've never gotten that far for. Okay. okay. It's like I'm I'm more like Moon Moon where like I I you know I'm there and I, I like the feeling of accomplishment up to a certain point and then the first sign of like failure that sets me back that hard. Yeah. Alt F4. I'm like I'm done. I'm out. That's what I'm saying though. Is like why how do like I know that's inevitably going to happen. I know that I'm not ever gonna get to the point. I, if I tried, I could probably beat it, but I'm never gonna get to the point where I can hold composure that long. Inevitably, I'm going to quit. So why even try to play those kind well, of games? The, that's the thing with, with us. They're just better people than us. They're better gamers. They're just they better have, than us. They have the perseverance. It's a, it's a character quality that we don't have that we should praise them for having. Right? It's also Stop pointing possibly my flaws. conspiracy number four. Oh my God. They actually hate the damn games, but they play them because we know people on Twitch like to see the people angry, yeah. and they know it gets more views. So they're not doing this because they genuinely enjoy the game or whatever. They're doing this because they're like, I'll That's put not, up with it for the money. It's not really a conspiracy. Yeah. That's, That's probably just, just fact. Yeah. And so is everything else I said. 
The, I know, everything mean about me too was true. <laughs> Anyways, it's time of day again where we peruse the deepest caverns of the Twitter cave so we can uncover what the pros have been shouting to the world for us to enjoy. Let's kick it off with this regrettable tweet from a pro Smash player, Locus. Keep in mind, this was before the Nintendo conference. He said, if Banjo gets announced for Smash on Tuesday, I'll give everyone that retweets this tweet a free hour of coaching. It's not happening. Well, no. if you weren't looking, it happened, and Banjo got announced yesterday at the Nintendo uh, conference. So I mean, it, it didn't sound to me like he was too confident, because free coaching is not like a life-changing thing. It's like it's a hassle, right? And you could it'll take up like a large chunk of your time, but it's nothing of like I'll eat my shoe. That but like, eleven thousand hours based off the tweet retweets he, he got actually want. He would, no one expects him to actually give every single person. Right? Like, if he did something more consequential or kind of like more memey, he could have uh, made it a win win scenario for himself. I think this was a missed opportunity on the part of Locus. No, I, you're right. I, I feel like at that point it would be unreasonable for us to expect him to follow through with that. At the same time, I kind of want to make him stick to his word. Unfortunately, I didn't retweet, so I'm not going to get that coaching to make me good. I'll but, coach you at Overwatch. Uh, free, good, free of charge. Good luck. <laughs> you are putting yourself into a bad spot here, buddy. I believe in I'm you, man. I'm taking that, though. I believe in you. All right. All right, well, we'll plan that out later. Yeah, Let's okay. move on to our next tweet, because this is a prime reason as to why gamers shouldn't tweet super late after a long gaming session. Avery Ham shared this. Honestly, there is nothing better than the smell of your BFs colon heart emoji plus drool emoji. Um, uh, I feel like there might have been a typo. She 100% met Cologne. And if she didn't, <laughs> maybe she got, you know how everyone loves their own brand. Don't, everyone don't, loves their own don't brand. go there. Maybe Please. people. I, we didn't do it today and I had to do I thought we could make it, like, you know, reconcile something. Because yesterday you threw a mute, I threw a mute. It was very hostile. Today, I, what is that? What is that? Okay, for the, you know what, now he's not talking, I have the opportunity to, to expose him to the entire world. Brody farts around the office all the time, everywhere. That couch that we sit on for Esports on 30, it is filled with his brand of gas. It's, it's, it's like, he just can't resist it. Like, he, I know, he comes in the morning always with a, like a cup of coffee. I don't know what it is, but it's 99% him in that couch. Um, okay, I stop! Might have, I didn't want Enough! <laughs> You're done! We're moving on. The counter mute. And our last tweet for the day is from one of my good friends, RLCS analyst Gibbs. He tweeted this. My wife. I loved London. It was one year ago that we went. Me internally. Man, Justin's cold was effing nutty. Don't worry, Gibbs. I echo that feeling. I actually forget most of anything I did in London during the LAN, because that's where our worlds was. All I remember is Justin's goal. And all I, even you know about Justin's goal, do you not? I'm good. I'm yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Who's Justin? What goal? What? I didn't watch Rocket League. It is the goal. Watch, it is the goal. The goal. It's gonna... the only goal that was ever scored in Rocket League. I, I know about only like good esports, like League of Legends. Wow. Where? No. I used this. You too never early. used it. Like, you got debated. Outplayed. Oh, outplayed. Outplayed. This out is why you're going to be my played. coach. There. See. Right. Like, back on the friendly terms once again. All right. Perfect. Right, Let's move go. on though, because it is time to get to some crowd controlled. Unless something really, really good comes up, I promise this is our last Keanu move, because it basically summarizes how the entire internet has been acting lately. Everything is Keanu forever. We have ascended, Ron. What am Ron. I looking at? We have ascended. What am I looking at? Minecraft Keanu. It's like you're in the Matrix. Because it's, oh, it's Keanu. Oh, it's Keanu. Oh, well my played. God. But that... it's like a weird, distorted version. <laughs> Can you imagine actually trying to play like that, though? Because, like. I've seen a Nick Cage one, like, very similar to this, where it's just Nick Cage everywhere. Because you won't know what actual items you're getting. Uh. That's true. Yeah. That's true. I mean, th does, even the text was different, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that's hard mode. Hard, 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 hard mode. This is the world that I can live in. Uh, that must be what's going on behind those eyes. It's just Keanu, <laughs> Keanu all the time. Until but next week when my ADHD kicks in. I'll move on to the next meme. Just get some of that Adderall drink, that Razor. Uh, okay, yeah. that, right? <laughs> Easy. Yeah, so you know what? That was weird, but you know what else is weird? Here's a weird, weird thing called Meat Fortress, which is an official update for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades.
welcome to the Mead Fortress. Don't ever I, say I just, that. I just want to let you guys know that while we were watching that, the thing that uttered out of Ron's mouth was, I like wieners. I didn't say that. It was not on tape. <laughs> That's, I guess tape. I have no proof. Do we have bloopers? Huh? Do we have bloopers? No, we, we need to always have a mic recorded on the we side. We really do. No, we'd get into a lot of trouble. Dude. People hear my farts all the time when I forget to like unmic in the, like, when I walk down the office. <laughs> you go to the bathroom with that? Yeah. But no, seriously, that looks sick. I love VR. Um, and now I can run around as a wiener mm -hmm. shooting people Team Fortress style. That's sick. You gotta love that too. Do you play Team Fortress actually? Because oh, I played a lot of Team Fortress. Family yeah. based off of that. Yeah, a lot of pros came from Team Fortress too, and they're like a part of the Overwatch League now. I kind of missed the boat in like the competitive scene when I was playing. I was much younger, and I only played it for like the hats. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it was free. Uh, at some point, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? It was you paid for it before, yep. but now it's yep. free. Um, I was more of like a portal person. You know, Left 4 Dead, uh, as okay. I talked about okay. yesterday. Left 4 Dead is my ish. Uh, Team Fortress was cool, but it just wasn't perfect for me. But now that they're hot dogs, maybe I'll jump into this and relive. All right. Not relive. But try live. Again. Yeah. Live for real this time. Yeah. All right, you and I will have to jump in and roast some wieners sometime. But right now, we're going to move on to our next piece. I, I used to do parkour, but I think I'll be getting into it again after seeing this new trick from Seductive Moose in Assassin's Creed. This is proper parkour. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't care if nobody else likes it, but something about like game physics just launching <laughs> characters like a rag doll and a trebuchet across yeah. the screen There's nothing is more just funny than that. that's my favorite thing. Well, here's the thing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you've talked before prior in the show about how you were like a skate kid. You know, you talk about a lot about how you were like athletic. So, egging you on right now. What? Parkour over the stool. Do it for the meme. We need the viewership. Parkour. That's. Man, that was really disappointing. That That's was... going to be cut out the show now. <laughs> You're not going to be cut out the show. We just lost the entire segment. Yeah, well, ugh, I'm so disappointed. Like, you, you can't follow that performance with that pitiful... How about we don't subject you guys to it anymore because that is it for Unmuted. Remember that you can always hit up us, hit us up on our socials just to say hi or send us stuff to react to. Check out all our socials at Squad State for everything esports. <laughs>